Hey guys, I am the number one, and today I have some problems. I have a dodgeball competition, but need help with knowing what time it starts. Can you help me? Great, thank you so much. Let's go and look at my clocks so we can figure out when I need to leave. To help me out, I need to learn about elapsed time. Here is a clock with an hour hand and a minute hand. Can you tell me what the current time is? The time is 3 o'clock. We know this because the hour hand points to the 3 and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, which is where the minutes start. The clock shows it's 3 o'clock. Now can you tell me what time it will be in 3 hours? If you did not know this, do not worry since we are learning together. Since we have another clock here, we can move the hour hand 3 hours ahead. So we move the hour hand 1, 2, 3 hours. It is now pointing at 6 o'clock. So 3 hours past 3 o'clock is 6 o'clock. Great job, guys! Let's look at some more. Right now the time is 6.20, and my mom said school starts in 1 hour and 10 minutes. What time will it be in 1 hour and 10 minutes? Whenever I get a question like this, I like to imagine how the hands on the clock move. For example, we know that every time the minute hand makes a complete rotation, the hour hand has moved by exactly one hour. Let me show you what I mean. I will move the minute hand all the way around the clock once to show one hour has passed. Did you notice that the hour hand moved as well? We started at 6.20 and we need to know what time it will be in one hour and ten minutes. We just moved the clock ahead one hour. The clock now reads 7.20. We have moved the time up one hour from 6.20. Great job, guys! You are doing awesome! Now we need to move the minute hand forward 10 minutes. What is the time now? The time is 7.30. That is so awesome! So when my mom said school started in 1 hour and 10 minutes, we can see that school starts at 7.30. Great job, guys! We have seen two problems that we were able to solve, but now I need help knowing when my dodgeball competition is. Right now it is 4.30, and my competition schedule says I need to be at the dodgeball court in 2 hours and 45 minutes. I love dodgeball and do not want to miss my competition, so let's figure this out. Since we have another clock here to use, let's move the hands ahead starting with the minutes. Now we need to remember that when the minute hand moves all the way up to the 12, it starts a new hour. That means the hour hand will need to be moved up to the next hour. Right now it is 4.30 and we need to move the minute hand 45 minutes. We can count by 15 minutes to make it easier. Count with me as we count each 15 minute increment. 15, 30, 45. Wait, remember that when the minute hand moves, so does the hour hand. The minute hand is now pointing at 15 minutes after the hour. Because the minute hand had moved past the 12, the hour hand should not stay at four o'clock, but should be 5 o'clock. Remember, when the minute hand moves, so does the hour hand. Now the clock reads 5.15. Great job so far! We have to move the clock ahead by 2 hours and 45 minutes. We have already moved the clock ahead 45 minutes. Now let's add 2 hours. To add 2 hours, do we move the hour hand or the minute hand? Correct! We move the hour hand ahead by 2 hours. What time is this on the clock? The time is 7.15. Great job! My dodgeball competition starts at 7.15. Thank you so much. That last one was pretty cool, but with practice and visualizing a clock in your head, you will be excellent at this. Great job, kids. Goodbye.